Hello friends, welcome to LaTeX. My name is Nasser and uh, today we are going to tell you all about the PSID. Especially in the Dell laptop, when you receive a Dell laptop and uh, you have got a case like a plug-in not charging, adapter ID is not determined or any type of issue regarding with the adapter wattage. If you get then you will get uh, that type of error that uh, if you get that type of problem surely that uh, the battery will not charge in your laptop and uh, the unnecessary uh, uh, adapter error will, will be on your screen so similarly uh, i have a i have a case study with uh, dell latitude series and the part number is la hyphen a 963p and uh, this is uh, a donor motherboard which part number is LA-C621P. So why I am counting you the, uh, the donor board part number just because uh, if you have any of the Dell series, uh, the similar you will get the PSID uh, family and uh, you have to work like that and uh, you will get the positive result. Now let me begin it. So here is the diagram. Uh, we don't have the uh, exact diagram of uh, this particular model. Okay. So here is the reference of this particular model LA-A971P. However, I have LA-A963. Okay. So uh, the PSID, what is the PSID? First of all, let me uh, tell you, as I have described you in the theory that uh, how the PSID works. So a pin is dedicated to tell to the system that uh, what is the wattage is uh, going to be used in the system. Okay, so through this line here is the main point, which is the ID calculator. And uh, it is set alike that uh, you will always get uh, uh, around of 0 .45, uh, 0 0.48 volt, not to the uh, max, not to more to the, this one. Like here, you will get around 48 milli volt. Okay. So this NPN widget will not turn on, and uh, 5 volt always will go across this uh, uh, gate and uh, this will switch on this MOSFET and through this here 33 ohm always you will find 33 ohm which is usually blown up and this 33 ohm uh, will reduce some current and it will go through this uh, PU1 this is just a switch this is the symbol of switching so from here to here it will pass and it will go to the page number 36 where the IO is located and it will tell to the IO that uh, uh, my ID is 65 watt or 45 watt or 95 watt or 120 watt whatever the information is uh, containing in the adapter it will tell you through this pin and now I have received this uh, motherboard without battery, a bare motherboard I have received and customer told me I have tried to repair to, uh, to uh, remove the error that uh, adapter uh, ID is not determined or this types of error is uh, or adapter is not directed this types of error we are they are getting. So they send it to me like that. Let me zoom the uh, motherboard so that you will see that how many components are missing from here and how he has tried to work on it so now let me show you So guys, as you can see here, that uh, this is the area he has worked and uh, he has scratched also somewhere here might be, might be the track was cutting or he has cut the track to find out that uh, what is the main cause 
to to that error now you can say that uh, pu2 is necessary here to uh, to pass that current from a source to drain now you can see this is the pu2 here is the pu2 and you need to have this one and he has removed this one, uh, a transistor from the motherboard so one thing we have to use pu2 and uh, also we need to check 33 ohm register how many th uh, things always uh, you will have to check when you use adapter id anyhow anyhow uh, one thing you ha you have noticed here one percent tolerance is given here one percent tolerance means uh, maximum 101 it could be maximum a minimum it could be 99 ohm kilo ohm okay so this is uh, this is the indication of one percent so maximum and minimum level so now here we cannot reduce or increase 